So today was a big day for former South Carolina game cop bigs. Camilla Cardoza went off for 22 points, nine rebounds, one assist, shooting seven for 11 from the from the field, eight for eight from the line. Asia Wilson, she goes 41, 17, two steals a block, 16 for 23 from the field, mm. seven for nine from the free throw line. And Aaliyah Boston has seven points, eight rebounds, two assists, three blocks, three for six from field and listen man um Aaliyah man a lot of people worried about you man they worried man they thinking um you done lost your confidence uh they think you playing pretty bad since the break they 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 don't like what they've been seeing from you lately they feel like you've lost your way um, and I'm here to tell you that this might not be a bad thing, and it might not be that. Um, the Indiana Fever got something good going on right now. They're playing the, their best style of basketball. Caitlin, just being Caitlin to the max, and Kelsey. Being the Ohio State Kelsey. You know what I'm saying? If you go watch her at Ohio State, this is how she looked playing against college kids. And you got the number one all time leading scorer in women's um, college basketball history and the number four all time leading scorer in women's college basketball history on the same team. And they're doing their thing and they're running. And they, 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 they're playing in a level that's just almost as if like they're in tune to each other on a different level. They're in a, they're in a zone together and Aaliyah might not fit into that at 18 points a game at 14 shots a game. That might not fit into that. Maybe Aaliyah and this, what did, what Caitlin and Kelsey got going on right now. Maybe in order to do that, Aaliyah needs to screen. Aaliyah needs to share more minutes with Fag Benley and Dantas. Damaris Dantas, because they bring different aspects to the table that help Caitlin and Kelsey do whatever they're doing. Maybe Aaliyah's game that y'all want her to be all, you know, more involved and score more and take more shots. Maybe that's not. Maybe that's going to mess it up. Maybe Aaliyah will take more shots. Maybe Aaliyah will go 5 for 12 from the field and score, I don't know, 14 points or whatever, 15 points and grab 10 boards and it won't help. It will It will make the, the – the offense looked different. Maybe you don't, maybe what she's doing right now, the way she's playing, maybe this is what, this is optimum Indiana Fever basketball. We tried. Listen, they tried. <laughs> this person, Leah Boston, with the unsung hero performance, overcame the worst whistle 
in the league to battle for eight boards, three blocks, and two assists, and a plus nine. Yeah, she had a plus nine. Listen, some games she may go off for 18 points. I mean, if that's what's there. Caitlin said the other day, she said something very interesting, man. She said, we don't know what we're going to do. There's no way you can stop us because we don't even know what we're going to do coming into the game. They're just playing off of each other. And it's really centered around the dynamic between Kelsey and Caitlin. And now that Kelsey's decided to, you know, pass the ball sometimes to Caitlin, not all the time, but some, very, sometimes if Caitlin's open, sometimes. I, I, I'm just not a big fan of um, when you're a running team, like, a, um, like and I always use this example, Loyola Marymount back in the 80s. Their post player was 6'7", Hank Athers, who could run like a deer and really – was killing it on the boards with putbacks. And when he got the ball, he made his move quick. It wasn't a lot of dilly and dallying. If you gave him the ball, he put his head down and went to the rim or pulled up and shot it. He kept the flow. He didn't pound the rock. He didn't stand there and survey the field, the, 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 the court. And if Aaliyah, her game is more traditional low post, and that doesn't that doesn't go well if, if you're a running team. Um, you need somebody that's even going to pop it, when, 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 when Caitlin breaks down the defense and or draws the defense and kicks it to that person, that person pulls the trigger and lets it fly. Or that person puts their head down and drives to the basket. Or that person swings it to the next open player. And not saying Aliyah's not a great passer, because she is, but a lot of her game does slow this down. Um, and I'm not mad at Aliyah, man. Um, I'm not mad at Aaliyah, man. I'm, I have no, I'm, I have no issue with Aaliyah. I don't have nothing bad to say about Aaliyah, about the way she's playing. I mean, she's not playing bad, and whatever good is, she got a good plus minus, and they're winning. So she's playing good, <laughs> and Dantes and Fag Benley are playing more. And look, Lexi Hall, she had four points a day. She's had other games where she's had 18, other games where she had 20. But as a role player, in which maybe Aaliyah is becoming a role player, you need to, you know what I'm saying, you're not going to go off every night. You're not going to get yours every night. Some nights you'll get yours and some nights you won't. Because we need... We need the, you know, we need the Caitlin and Kelsey to do what they're doing. And it's working. And I would rather Aaliyah average 10 and 8 and us play the way score 100 and us score 100 points a game and win most of our games 
then her average 15 and 11 or 15 and 10 and us score 85 points a game and be 500. Because Christy Sides did spend a good portion of the year trying to run the offense through Aaliyah Boston. And it it, it just it, she got criticized for it. It didn't work. Aaliyah Boston went off a couple games, like an Atlanta game. She had like 28 or something like that. But it wasn't sustainable with the roster you got. And I have no problem with it, man. I, I have no problem with what Leah's doing. She, if she scored, if she if she if she went for double figures once every three games, I would be fine with that. As long as we get to do keep doing what we're doing, man. Hit the like button, man. Subscribe. Peace. I'm out of here.